Oh Lord, here we go. Here we go. Why did I just scratch my head like that? Whose auntie was I trying to be? Cause, let me stop. You know what? It's like 12, 40, I, you know, I don't know what time it is. It's 12 something. And I was like, makeup time. And so I did my little face or whatever, did my basic stuff because I was gonna take pictures. But now I'm just here watching TikToks and that's about it. That's about it. So quarantine's a thing. Fun, fresh, we love that, right? We stand. I miss all of my friends and I have no will to do anything but sleep until 12, which is something I've never done in my entire life. Play Red Dead, finish the game, don't know what I'm gonna do. Call my friend and bother him all day and sleep. That's about it. And it's like, I have more things to do. I have my camera, but the battery's charging over here. It's charging. And so I can't use my actual battery, so we're using phone gang, phone gang, okay? Yes. So basically, what I'm gonna do is vlog quarantine, I guess. I might become a gamer. I don't have many games, but I'll figure it out, you know? I'll figure it out. It's 12 in the morning. I just realized my family watches this channel. Hello, please don't watch this in front of me because I will combust of embarrassment. Is that the word? Combust. Anyway, we're gonna take makeup off. Okay, so we're gonna talk about stuff. All I have is water and this rag and my face cream for acne, so don't at me, okay? It's quarantine time. You know how long it's been since I've been outside? Uh, it's. I went outside today, but I didn't, I wasn't in public. I just went outside to feel how cold it was outside. So I knew if I wanted to put a long or short sleeve on, but that's irrelevant. Irrelevant. Okay, but literally the two things that's been on my mind nonstop during quarantine is I hope everyone's okay. And why are people so mean? Okay, that's the big thing. Why are people so mean? Well, I mean, people are gonna be rude regardless. That's obvious, of course. There's nothing you can do about people having bad attitudes towards you. And it's like, if they have them for no reason, it makes you wonder, what did I do to you? Like. Maybe you've tried the entire time you've known them to please them and they just, everything you do makes them hate you more for some reason. And if you've done nothing wrong to this person, then that's not your fault. And I have a hard time coming to terms with that. So maybe we can come to terms with it together. And for those of you don't, who don't know, hello, I'm Jada. I'm a freshman right now, well, was a freshman, depending on if Corona decides to shut the school down for the rest of the year, rest of this year. Yeah, I'm a freshman and <sighs> I overthink. So yeah, we're just gonna be talking. But anyways, back to what I was saying, I have a hard time getting myself to remember that there's always going to be people that are going to dislike you just for living your best life and it's like i have days where i realize that and i'm like i don't care if you're gonna hate me for literally just trying to make it in this world go for it waste your energy be my guest but at the same time if you're like around them all the time it's so exhausting acting like the stuff that they say to your face and away from you and behind your back doesn't get to you. And if it doesn't get to you, props, man, props. Because I have days where it doesn't get to me and I'm like, you're really out here trying to ruin my day, making yourself miserable because I'm literally trying to live my best life. That's a you problem. And then there's other days where it's like, I worked so hard to get to where I am. I'm bleeding, whoops, didn't mean to do that. That sounds bad, but like, 
I'm I've worked so hard to get to where I am because I can be annoying and I can be very rude and not realize it and so I'm trying to work on that and then you just coming in my business trying to drag me down for being nice to you and trying to make you laugh with my stupid awful jokes that are embarrassing and you being I'm adding two people right now and either you know or you don't but it's fine it's totally fine because like in a year it won't matter because I'll never see them again because it doesn't matter it doesn't matter right that's all that matters learning and loving and forgiving and crap I just don't understand especially if you're older and you like know for a fact you have no business treating people the way you do it's like it just makes you sit back and think who hurt you like who hurt you so bad that you felt the need to take time out of your day to drag someone else down like I understand if you're not in the best mood you want everybody to leave you alone but there's very better there's so many better ways to say that other than telling somebody they're annoying or they look bad or they need to lose weight da, 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 da. and it's not that all those have been said to me those are just the first things that popped into my head that people say when they are hating on someone and that's just like the first thing that popped into my head hmm? penny another thing when the school year started, I met two people. One of them I met from my English class. And if he, if you see this, you know I'm talking about you, but we're not gonna name any names. But he sat with me in my English class and I remember being cool with him, but then like the stuff, we like, he would say stuff and it just made me angry. And I was just angry towards him and rude because it seems like it seemed like the stuff he was doing was out of like oh i want attention i guess i don't know if that makes sense but i just remember being angry about it because it felt wrong that there are people suffering in silence and this kid wanted attention for something so ridiculous and then i remember reaching out to him like honestly reaching out to him as like a person like are you good bro and like he opened up to me and told me like dude I'm not good there's so much wrong with my life and da 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 da, da. and I was just like wow like I had no idea this kid was genuinely serious and he was crying out for help not crying out for help but you get you get it like he was asking for help but the way he did it came across as arrogant to me and so I just canceled him out as arrogant and a terrible kid and, or a person because he's older than me and just yeah the closer we got the more I began like knowing yo yo man like be nice a similar situation happened with my best friend I'm not gonna name any names because if you know you know she told me about this person and I just hated them I was like nope can't do it you're dead to me stay away from me and then they happened to be in my class ne the next semester. And then I was like, well, great. And then they sat behind me in said class. And I was like, well, I'm either gonna ignore you and pretend you don't exist for the rest of the year, or I'm gonna make amends. And so when they made amends, I made amends. We're cool now. And it's like hearing, getting closer with this person and hearing their experiences, you really don't don't realize what other people are going through because you're worrying about the stuff you have to do with and I look like I'm applying a lot but I'm really not and then I'm just like dabbing it on my face I promise I'm not applying a lot but you don't realize what people are going through you just don't I don't know how to explain it but I'm pretty sure a bunch of people understand what I'm saying like you don't realize who's going home and have food on the table when it's dinner time or who has a family that loves them and who doesn't and who has to take care of their siblings and go to work and be the parents that those kids need because their parents couldn't 
or won't be their parents and it's like wow okay i say all of this that never gives you the excuse to act out upon like people if you need help i understand it's hard to ask for but confide in close friends there's got to be someone that you would confide in and instead of projecting anger out to people that did nothing to you because once again you have no idea what their home life is like try and speak to your like best friend or something because everyone's struggling at the end of the day it doesn't matter once you get old enough to understand struggle everyone is struggling and we're just trying to make it in the world and it's like why bring each other down when you can lift each other up or just keep to yourself that's one thing i promised myself to do this year my freshman year the hardest year because you're not the hardest one of the hardest because you're going into a new environment with people that are going to change you for literally the rest of your life like from what you do from here to senior year till you walk across that stage is so important and so it's like it's hard and so i promised myself i'm not going to let what people think about me impact the way I feel anymore. If it's negative and it's not changing me for the better, it's gotta go. Like, bye. If it's not bettering me, then it doesn't matter. And in doing so, I've literally gained confidence this school year and I've been okay with being alone. And I can like, I can do things by myself. I'm not as dependent on people as I am anymore as I what once was because going into high school you're gonna lose friends you're gonna gain friends but being in the activity that I am that I'm in band I was like oh it's fine I'm gonna see them for four years if they're in my grade or like three years or two they can't we can't grow distant but you become sorely mistaken and you get a rude awakening and it's like oh okay cool so whether I see you every day or not, you're going to drift and you're going to find people that you fit in better with or think you fit in better with because at the end of the day, we're all just trying to find ourselves. And that's also another thing that I struggle for to forget, struggle to remember sometimes is that everyone in my age, especially in high school, is just trying to figure themselves out. I'm not the only one struggling to find my identity. No one has themselves figured out. And I think that's one of the hardest things for me to remember because I'll drift with somebody or something happens and they'll be distant and I'm like, oh, well, I did something or they just don't care about me anymore when that's not the way to go about things. You should like, I should reach out more and be like, hey, you're good fam, like you're distant. What's this about? But I just take it as I'm the problem and they just don't want to be my friend and then that can cause a lot of losing friendships and saying all this out loud helps it like solidify the fact that this is the stuff that's in my mind and I don't take it into consideration until it's out in the world and so maybe I will learn something in quarantine and not be as awkward in audiences but yeah thanks for listening to me ramble I'm gonna go to bed and yeah, bye.